Guys, remember this lady who I showed you on the last show? Her name is Veronica Walski, and she gets her jollies going in businesses and harassing the minimum wage workers there with bullshit like this. Down here, so it's not real obvious that I'm videoing. Hello. I have a face mask on, honey. And I have a medical exemption and a doctor's note. Oh, good. So I have, um, uh, somebody sent me an email. I'll get the manager, please. I have a medical exemption. She has a medical exemption. She ain't got to wear her mask. And yeah, she died. She died, folks. She's dead. And not only that, but people are calling the hospital in which she died and threatening to murder the doctors because this is our country. This is what Trumpism is all about, folks. If anybody in this group is calling the hospital and telling them that they're going to blow it up, that's some bullshit because that's what the security is saying now, that nurses and doctors are being threatened, that people are calling to blow up the hospital. If you guys are doing that, you need to fucking stop because that doesn't help Veronica in any way. Yep. But what do you expect? This is what your team is. This is what you've hitched your ride to. Trash fucking humans. Meet Robert and V. Herring, 70. Arkansas, avoided vaccines, died of COVID. Daughter still won't get vaxxed. This is how crazy it is, folks. You can lose both your parents and they still will not break free from their cult mindset. One of the more vile and infuriating of these types of stories I've come across lately, some of these anti-vaxxers are just pure evil. There's no explanation. Arkansas must be full of them, as the state is currently grappling with one of the worst outbreaks in the country. Some say they will never be persuaded. Shonda Parrish, a nurse, a nurse, y'all, who lives in Fort Smith, Greenwood area, said she won't get the shot even after losing both her father and stepmother to the virus in recent weeks. Robert and V. Herring, both in their 70s, were lifelong residents of the area, married 34 years with five children between them. They didn't like the idea of getting the vaccine, their children said. They became sick and after attending a 52nd high school reunion and died within three days of each other at Fort Smith Hospital in late July. Miss Parrish, who considered her father her hero, is devastated, she said, clinging to waves of numbness between her grief and anger. The deaths have caused a rift within the family whose children remain split on their views of the vaccine. Miss Parrish said she still won't get it. She simply doesn't trust a newly created vaccine. She doesn't regret that her parents didn't get vaccinated, she said. It was their choice. Instead, she regrets that she was quarantining ahead of cancer treatment when they fell ill and couldn't be involved in pushing to get them hospitalized sooner. So angering. What is wrong with people? Nothing will ever wake them up. Meet Todd Tucker, 60. He was an OM at Cox Radio in Tulsa. He posted, please stop bragging that you got your COVID vaccine. What do you want us to say? Congratulations, lab rat. Yeah, he did. Let's read the story. Todd Tucker has passed away due to complications of COVID-19. Yep. So, uh, might want to get vaccinated out there, folks. Meet Travis Holman, 46. He was a celebrity fisherman. People knew this guy. He posted, So big tech mad Wall Street, all the money-making apparatuses of the world make vaccines that over the decades raise the rate of autism from 1,000 to 1 to 90 in 1. That's not true, folks. This week, those autists are kicking the shit out of the ones who force of all the human race for profit. Hold the line. He ain't holding shit, folks. He dead. Travis Alice Holman died of cascading health complications of COVID-19. He was a well-known national recognized professional fishing and hunting guide who, along with his brother Bear, appeared on numerous TV shows, including 10 years on the ESPN2 Redfish Cup Series. Yep. Once again, I just tested negative for sympathy. All out of thoughts and prayers for you motherfuckers. Meet anti-vaxxer Colorado Sheriff, uh, 33. Daniel Trujillo, a married father too, died on Wednesday, the Denver Sheriff Department said. He publicly criticized the effectiveness of vaccines and died of COVID-19 complications left behind his wife and daughter. Apparently, this is the number one cause of death among police across the country right now. I'll get it later on after y'all start growing appendages out of y'all's foreheads, is what he posted. Dead. Meet Olivia Goldry. 23, apparently a nurse, a nurse, 
who was anti-vaccination. She posted, uh, this vaccine has been released using recombinant DNA technology faster than any vaccine in the world. It manipulates your DNA at the tiniest molecular level. Do not get it. It's not safe, dead. Lafayette general issue statement about Olivia Guntry, nurse who died after COVID-19 diagnosis. Meet Stephen Harmon, 34, was a member of the Hillsong Church. A California man who mocked COVID-19 vaccines on social media has died after a month-long battle with the virus. Stephen Harmon, a member of the Hillsong Megachurch, has been a vocal opponent of vaccines, making a series of jokes about not having the vaccine. Got 99 problems, but a vaccine won, the 34-year-old tweeted to his 7,000 followers in June. He was treated for pneumonia and COVID-19, where he died Wednesday. Don't know when I'll wake up. Please pray, he wrote before he died. Shocking Hillsong Church, isn't it? I think you might have picked the wrong cult, dude. Kasha, you're alive. Meet Linda Zorn, 70. Here she is with anti-COVID signs. Last week, Zorn was one of four people who protested in uh, Provincetown against the state's Vax Bus program. The bus is a mobile vaccination unit to help inoculate rural residents who might lack access to nearby health clinics. On her social media, Zorn shared posts claiming that COVID-19 was a man-made virus used by the globalists to push the UN Agenda 2030 for a one-world government. Dead Trump supporter who protested against vaccination dies of COVID-19. There she is with her cute little sign, jackass. Imagine giving your life for this shit, folks. Meet Jordan Senor, 16 years old, had Down syndrome, was apparently the light of his mom's life, but she decided not to get him vaccinated, and he died. An Arkansas mother is grieving after losing her teenage son to COVID-19. Jordan Sinner, 16 of Harrison, is one of two Arkansas children to die of the virus. His mother, Athey Mathers, said he was her best friend. There was nobody he didn't like. He changed everything about me in those 16 years. He's the one that had the strength to get mama up to show that this is how you love mama. That this is how you love them no matter what she said. Matthews said Senior was not vaccinated even though he's old enough to receive the shot. She said she isn't vaccinated either. And even after her son's death, she won't get the shot until she's seen more research about its effectiveness. Your son died from not having it. From your hesitancy. You are responsible for him. You killed him. Just so angry. Even their own children can fucking die. And they still won't goddamn do it, folks. If they don't even care about their own children's lives, they obviously don't care about our lives in this fucking goddamn death cult. Here's one. The family of an unvaccinated woman who died from COVID-19 says they still refuse to get the jab. The daughter of an unvaccinated woman who died from the coronavirus said her family will still not be getting their shots, according to the Daily Beast. Molly Hart, a physical therapist from Bradentown, Florida, always Florida, it's got duh right on the end of it, was left devastated after her mother, Mary Knight, passed away from complications related to COVID-19 last week. However, the tragic event did not change her stance on getting the COVID-19 vaccine. No one in my family will be getting the vaccine, Hart confirmed to the Daily Beast. Hart said she believes her mother, who was 58 years old, did not die from the coronavirus, but that it was a freak thing caused by stress. I'm surprised she doesn't believe it was Antifa. She was always a busy worker bee, Hart said, according to the Daily Beast. She didn't know how to rest and gave her all to everything she did. Stress killed her, not COVID. A healthy body and immune system do not need the vaccine. They gonna kill us all, folks. Literally no amount of evidence will change some of these people's minds. Scary. Meet Kurt Carpenter, 28, young as shit. Christy Carpenter wasn't sure about the COVID-19 vaccine when it became available in Alabama earlier this year. Carpenter, who had some pre-existing health conditions, was concerned about possible side effects. And then she and her 28-year-old son, Kurt, got sick. Both were hospitalized in March as the coronavirus rapidly weakened their lungs. Kurt Carpenter never came back to their Pale City homes. I know that if Kirk had survived, he would have made sure everyone knew how serious this disease is and how important the vaccine is, Christy Carpenter said. My daughter and I are now carrying out that mission in his memory. So like at least some people are waking up. Kurt thought COVID was a hoax and did not take it seriously until he could not breathe without the oxygen. The same day he was put on the ventilator, he told us, this is not a hoax. This is real, folks. Please listen. It's not a hoax. It's real. People own their deathbeds begging to get it, and it's too late. Terrified, folks. Do not be one of these people, like this family. 
Three of four family members die because they were scared to get vaccinated by anti-vax propaganda. According to this story, Francis Goncalves, front left in the picture below, lost his brother, Shaw, 40, and his parents, Basil, 73, and Charmaine, 65, to COVID because they were caught up in a lot of the anti-vaccination propaganda that's going around as he pleaded with people to get vaccinated. It preys on people who are afraid and they fall into the trap, he said. The message I want to get out is why would the government want to hurt you by giving you a vaccine? What is the purpose behind it? I've spoken to so many people who are terrified of the vaccine and it costs lives. I mean, it took losing three of his four family members to speak out, but at least he's doing it. At least some of these people are doing the right thing. Meet Giselle Burdoin, 70. Quebec singer and anti-vax conspiracy theorist. Giselle didn't believe and immersed herself into online conspiracy theories about COVID-19. About the conspiracy theories, her sister, she would get up at 4 a.m. to watch all the videos of these people and send them to us on Facebook. She asked me to tell all you to get vaccinated because she didn't believe, Monica wrote. Like some of you, she was a conspiracy theorist and anti-masker. Unfortunately, Giselle never wanted the vaccine. Despite her brave fright with COVID for five days, she leaves us today at 4 p.m., she wrote. Sad because even if she didn't believe it, she didn't deserve this. Hmm? I mean, how many people did she hurt with her memes? How many people did she convince not to get vaccinated who will ultimately die or either infect others who will die? I mean, I feel sympathy for the relatives, but it's hard to feel sympathy for these people, these plague rats. Meet Gail Corsett, 68, right-wing conspiracy theory advocate and anti-vaxxer, who posted, Biden is sending goons out to force people to take the vaccine. No, he's not. Sign petition to stop this complete violation of our rights and our bodies, who posted, the plan was to make people so desperate for a return to normal that they would go and get injected with something they know absolutely nothing about who posted, attention, do not knock on this door to talk about the vaccine. Get off my property. Who posted, a new badge has been created, which will allow you to go back to work, to travel in your state, to fly, catch a train or bus, and to buy and sell. And it's the, the Jewish star, you know, the Nazis made Jew, Jewish people wear. This comes next. Have your vaccine passport on you or show us your papers, just like they did in fascist Germany. Yeah, didn't they do that? Weren't they trying to protect the Jews from death of the pandemic? Isn't that what it was all about? Divide and conquer, separate the submissive sheep from the freedom-loving patriot, she said, dead. Gail Corsett died in 2021, August 7th. She survived by her husband of 34 years and a daughter, Sarah. I feel bad for the family, but you fucked around and found out. Meet Tim Miller, 51 of Orange, Texas, part-time country singer. He posted, whatever happened to hydroxychloroquine? It didn't work. So you guys quit talking about it. It's FDA approved and it worked. It didn't. Instead of injecting who knows what into ourselves, guess it's not a moneymaker for big pharma like the vaccine. Seen, huh? You know what's a big moneymaker for Big Pharma? People getting COVID and being in the hospital for a long time. Them dying in the hospital, that's a huge moneymaker. Way to back Big Pharma, dumbasses. I guess as he lay dying, his wife Rhonda posted. Update on here because I just cannot talk right now. Please pray harder than ever. It didn't work. He is in critical condition at this point and on the highest level of oxygen they can give him. He is on the ventilator. They have not moved him out of the ER yet. There are no beds to move him into yet. Yeah, because of you dumbasses. You caused this to happen, and now you're suffering from it. Yes, we were giving him hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin, along with high doses of C4000. I thought you said it worked. He just said it worked. Maybe I didn't up the dosage earlier enough. Yeah, you didn't up the dosage of vaccine earlier enough. That's what the problem is. I don't know. The other protocol is IV, high doses of vitamin C, zinc. That doesn't work. What works is the goddamn vaccine. So, yep. Here's his obituary. Timothy Miller. We are sad to announce that on August 18, 2021, at the age of 51, Timothy Miller of Orange, Texas, born in Madisonville, Louisiana, passed away. Mm -hmm. Leave a sympathy message. I can't. All out. You motherfuckers, use them up. Meet Clint Smith. 29. Super young who posted C-O-V-I-D stands for control, oppress, victimize, isolate, divide, who posted proudly unpoisoned with the picture of a needle, a vaccination needle, who posted government trying to keep up their COVID story with a building falling over with uh, logs holding it up. According to this post, I prayed for God to take this cup from me. I prayed with every fire of my being, I pushed and fought so hard for Clint and he fought so hard himself. He knew he was dying and fought anyways. 
Tupelo did everything they possibly could, but honestly, by the time he got there, they were doing damage control and doing all they could to try to save him. It wasn't supposed to be like this, and I am forever changed by this. Please, y'all, I am begging you to take this virus seriously. My husband lost his life at the age of 29, and my five-year-old son doesn't have a father. Like, I hope, I hope some of you out there who are not vaccinated are listening. I hope this has an effect on you to change you. Do you want to be one of these people? Do you want to be on this list? Because I'll sure as goddamn hell share you to everybody. We'll sure as hell use you as an example for other people. But I don't want to. I want you to get vaccinated. I want to save your life. I get messages like this all the time now. Not only people saying stuff like this, but they also have told me that they weren't vaccinated themselves. They're not anti-vaccine, but they just have waited to get vaccinated. But they've watched my videos on Meet the Victims, and they decided after seeing them that they were going to get vaccinated. But I've also had several comments like this one. Corey Mai says, I'm so glad I accidentally stumbled upon your channel. I've shown three different people, all anti-vaxxers, these two videos, and I'm not joking. Two of the three went and got vaxxed. Keep making these videos. They are a public service. Thank you, Dusty. Subscribe and following. And I actually believe this is true, folks. So I'm going to keep doing it. I know that can be depressing, but I think this stuff has to be covered. I think these can change people's minds and have changed people's minds and might save lives. So we're going to keep doing it.